Now, if you're a gamer, you most likely know of or have played Lethal Company. If so, then you know that to play this game, you need friends. Now, most casual gamers don't have online friends that also have a PC, but instead have siblings or real life friends. Well, today, if I just describe to you, then if your PC is capable, you can play plenty of online multiplayer games with your friends, all from one PC. Hello guys, welcome back to Array's Gaming Guitar Productions, and today we'll be playing on online multiplayer games in split screen. Now to start, here are all of the rules and tips for this setup. One, you need to have a PC that you believe can play two instances of your chosen game. Two, in my experience, having two monitors is a better experience. And three, be ready to optimize your game settings and yeah, that's pretty much it. Now first, download Nucleus Co-op from the link in the description, follow the given installation instructions, then it should leave you right here. So let's say for instance we are doing Lethal Company, just go up here to download Game Handler, then search Lethal Company, then click the search icon, and it should give you whatever game handler there is for open source or that someone has created. So for instance, the uploader is Burden, then just click on the game handler and then click the download icon and then it should install it now for me i already have it so it'll say this but then once you have fully downloaded the game handler it should say this once you press yes it should say downloading and extraction of lethal company handler is complete and then they want you to find the actual executable of whatever game you picked but in this case it's lethal company so click yes and then find the exe file for your game and then it'll say the game lethal company has been added and that's pretty much it for the downloading the game handler now we actually have to configure everything and get it up and starting so just click on lethal company and then you can see all of the inputs that we have currently. So in my PC, I currently have a controller and my keyboard and mouse connected. And that's why it's showing these right here. And then let's say for instance, you want to do split screen. In this case, we'll do split screen, but you can also do two monitors. So I can just drag one here and then one here. But of course, we're not doing that in this video. This is for people that do not have multiple monitors. So let's just say you're doing split screen on the same monitor. Just click right here on this icon until you get to the split screen that you want. You can do top down or side by side, or you can just keep going until you find whatever one that you want. But in this case, we'll be doing side by side. And then let's say I grab my controller and then I give some form of input. You'll see that if I click a button, it should do a virtual input. So this is basically a emulator that is turning your controller's input into a keyboard and mouse. So for instance, if you're playing a game like Lethal Company, I'm pretty sure it does not have support for controller. So since that's the case, it is emulating your controller as a keyboard and mouse. So all I need to do is at while I have it like this, you just move the input that you want. So let's say for instance, player one is over here. You put it over here and then player two is over here. And as you'll see, player one right here and player two is here. And that's pretty much it. Now just click the arrow. And then you should see this stuff. If it has yes and one, just keep it as is because disabling these things will just cause issues. So keep everything the way that it is given to you. For instance, if you change the size of UI elements in game, that can cause issues. So just keep everything the way that it is already set. Then once you do that, just click play. And then you should get this pop up right here and it will say some handlers will require you to press the end key to lock input. So all you need to do is wait for the game to open, wait for both instances to open and then click end and then that will lock your input to the specific games or the instances so that you won't have a certain input working on both instances. So once I have both games loaded up, I will show you guys how to go from there. And now as you see, both instances are opened up and I can click land for both of them and it shows up perfectly. Now, one of the issues that you may have is if you have two monitors, you might have to deal with one of the instances going to the wrong monitor. So what you'll need to do is you need to click Windows and Shift and then click the arrow to move it to whatever monitor you want. So in my case, I did Windows, Shift, and then I clicked the right arrow and it brought both of them to here. So those are the kind of issues that you might have to deal with. But then once you do that, all you need to do is do not click end yet. You want to get everything configured and then 
click end and then all the input will be in so all you need to do is just click land on both of them and then as you'll see both games will load just fine and then there we go so for instance if you play lethal company you would know just one person needs to click host and the other person needs to click join crew and then once you do that you can just get into the game once you get into the game fully then you click end and then the input will be locked and then you can play the way that you want thank you guys for watching this video if you found this video helpful please make sure to like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments what other setups you want me to put together